Summer is finally here, and I want to design a handful of functional outdoor prints with the help of my AnchorMake M5 3D printer. My first concern with my small outdoor space is the glaring lack of birds. To attract some friendly birds, let's 3D print a bird feeder. I want to use a wide mouth mason jar to hold the bird seed, so first I modeled some threads in Fusion 360. Let's load up some filament on the AnchorMake M5 and do a test print to ensure we have a good fit. One cool feature here is the first layer error detection. For the first few layers of the print, the machine lifts the Z-axis and lets the camera get a good look at what the printer has laid down. If it detects an anomaly during these first crucial layers, you'll get an alert via the app to investigate the problem. This thread test printed great, Unfortunately though, it didn't fit. So after some changes in the design, I printed it again and used the fast print profile in the AnchorMake slicer. The resulting print time was around 20 minutes, which is super helpful for this sort of rapid prototyping. Eventually I got some good working threads for this wide mouth mason jar, so I hopped back into Fusion and finished designing the rest of the bird feeder. Next, on to printing. The removable bed makes it super easy to remove prints just by giving it a slight flex. With a print time of around 4 hours at a layer height of 0.1 millimeters, this thing turned out great and of course our mason jar screws in nicely. Now we just have to fill this with birdseed. And mount it using this angled block here. Everything seems to work as it should and the bird seed is auto fed out into the dish easily. Now it's just a matter of time before birds come. Probably. Maybe. Now that my yard will be full of birds, I need a way to keep them away from my award winning garden. Pinwheels seem to be the best option for this, but since I've been obsessed with wind turbines lately, I thought I'd put my own spin on it. Pun intended. This vertical windmill design should catch wind in any direction and uses two skateboard bearings. And for printing, I'll use this tricolor filament which should give the windmill an interesting effect as it spins. Let's head back to the AnchorMake M5 and get this printing. I used the fast setting again in the AnchorMake slicer which prints at 500 millimeters per second at a layer height of 0.25 millimeters. The tricolor filament has a more subtle effect than I was expecting, but with a print time of only 4 hours, I'm super impressed with the quality here. Music 
After inserting the bearings and printing the dowel, it was time to test. Even the slightest breeze spins this thing freely. Hopefully this keeps any hungry animals away from my bountiful harvest of tomatoes. You can't have summer without a sprinkler, so let's design one next. Of course, we have to start by modeling a garden hose thread test. And after ensuring I have the correct threads and tolerance, it's time to design the rest of the sprinkler. The idea behind this design is to create streams of pressurized water that will shoot upwards and hopefully be scattered by this propeller. This will print in three parts and the propeller will be screwed into the body of the sprinkler with this printed bolt. Let's head over to the printer and get this printing. Since I want this to be watertight, I'll also print a TPU washer for inside the threads. Luckily our Anchor Make M5 has a direct drive extruder and handles flexible filaments without any problems. And here are the results. This honestly worked better than I expected. And it really goes to show that functional printing can be super useful. If you're interested in printing any of the models that I designed today, you can find links to the files in the description. Special thanks to Anchor Make for sponsoring this video. Check out their M5 3D printer by clicking the link in the description. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.